Uh, yes, Uber. Have you guys noticed that Uber prices have gone up significantly because surge pricing is more prevalent? Because uh, Theme Master twenty dollar question. Um, I'm looking for it. Looking for it. Looking for it. I must have missed it somehow. Can you just uh, type in the question into the chat, and I'll I'll uh, I'll answer it. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll believe you. That, I believe you that you gave twenty dollars, so I'll answer it. Shelly, thank you. Ryan, at least admit that you are heroic in your convictions. I'm not sure who you're talking. Wh who needs to admit that? Um, so Uber is very difficult to get. It used to be in, in, in Puerto Rico here in San Juan. You went onto the street. You pressed the thing. Within a minute or two, you got an Uber. They were unbelievably cheap. Unbelievably cheap. Now, you can go 30 minutes, an hour with no Ubers. And when you do get an Uber, you get it like 400% because of surge pricing. Why? What has happened to Uber? What is causing Uber drivers not, not to show up to work for themselves using their own automobile? Why? Why does it take so long? Well, here's the thing. It used to be that Uber drivers were not eligible for unemployment because they were not employees. They were contractors. But under the new regime, both under Trump and under Biden, Uber drivers were included in the new regime of unemployment insurance that the federal government is providing. So Uber drivers are getting, I think it's $800 in some places, a month to stay home. You know, let's say they earn $1,000 driving the Uber car. Well, but then they lose the $800. So they're really only driving for $200. Is it worth getting the car out all the expense, you know, and all, all, all the, the, the time and the hassle and everything else for 200 bucks versus just staying home and collecting 800 I mean, the fact is that if you pay people not to work, they won't work. If you pay people to stay home, they'll stay home. And we're seeing this directly, the laws of economics working. With Uber, as some of these unemployment insurance plans are phased out over the weeks, months to come in different states, you will start seeing many more Uber drivers on the streets. Suddenly, it will become more profitable to drive a car than to sit at home. By the way, some of you who might not be collecting unemployment insurance, and who might have some spare time on the side, might consider becoming Uber drivers, just like in the evenings or whatever, just because, just because, it's, it's a pretty good way to make some extra money. And prices right now are pretty high because of the surge pricing. So, the laws of economics hold. But I would expect more people to go out there and moonlight. And probably that's the people who are actually doing Uber. And not the full-time Uber drivers. They're getting unemployment. But the, um, the moonlighters. People are doing it in addition to regular job. I don't need a ride 
Um, I've got a car here in Puerto Rico, but a lot of people didn't, don't buy cars in Puerto Rico because it used to be that Uber was so easy that it didn't make sense to have a car. I use Uber when I travel in different cities, so I'm hoping that by the time I travel, all this nonsense will be gone. Um, but we will see. We will see. Just a little lesson in economics. If you, people stay, if you pay people to stay at home, people to stay at home, your Uber driver is not going to show up. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at yourownbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.